Well, 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 look at this. I've just killed a drifter and he has given me a rusty gear. Thank you very much, Mr. Drifter. Now, what I have come to do is to put a door on here. Yeah. Yay. I have put a pathway in, but I'm not sure I want to do that. It depends where we end up. But my gut feeling is to put a teleporter in. I think, whoa, you know me, I absolutely hate rain. And when I came out of our trader, where I do have a teleporter, it was so disgusting, the weather. Absolutely disgusting. And I suddenly thought to myself, why are you even bothering with this? Just stick a teleporter near the translocator. Then if it leads anywhere good, you've got somewhere you can go to. Let's take this one out of the middle. And I'll stick a teleporter in here. I want to make dyed cloth. And to make dyed cloth, you need to start off by making cloth and then you soak it in a mordant. And I found a lot of tin. One of the best mordants to make mordanted cloth is to crush cassarite. But to crush cassarite, we need a pulverizer. So let's put our pulverizer together. Right, I need to make some axles. So it is, if I remember correctly, hammer, chisel, wood, and fat. I just want to make two at the moment. That's it. Okay, and then I want to make a pulverizer toggle, which I think, is that right? Yes, because I've got the two pulverizer arms. Let's make a pulverizer toggle. So I think that we've got the pounder arms, we've got the pounder caps, and over here, we have the frame. Yeah. Now, let's just think about this because we are going to want to put this other axle, grab this, on there. I've got that wrong. Dang it. Doesn't matter. On there. That's where the axle will have to go. And we need some more gears. So if I take that axle, I've got two of these and two of those. Now, can I make a transmission? Oh my word, let's just start with the angled gears. And as usual, I have to remember how to do it. Let's try that. Make some angled gears. I think it will just make one set. That's all right. I don't want to use up everything to start with. Okay, right. Now, let's go and see if this will work. I've got that axle. The axle will go there. The angle gears will go there, that's fine. And in fact, let me get my saw and get rid of these. I don't want to get rid of the tree outside. I've had to make a new saw. Okay. Yeah, so if we put 
a block there. Have I got enough room there? I think I have. Right, now we need the pulverizer toggle, which will go in there. We need the two pulverizer pounders. And then we need the pulverizer caps. There we are. And we can pulverize ore. This needs to be a transmission. But that's okay. Yeah, that fits perfectly. Now we need a chest to fill in here. We will need, yeah, what do you call it? A hopper. Let's get that prepped. This is a bit slow. And I know it may be slow because I'm running more than one thing on it. Two of the copper plates I'll need. Uh, let me come back to you when I've made another copper plate. Right, well, there's our, our hopper. Excellent. And that should go on there. Let me just check that that looks... Uh, no, of course it doesn't go there. Goes on the other side. That's it. And then we put a chest underneath. All right, you come with me. And I need a hammer. And I must say, I am delighted that I now know how to make these metal strips. When you start with a metal plate, it is just so, so easy. Wow. Glad I've got a lightning conductor. There we go. And those need quenching. Ooh. You know, it takes more trouble, but I do love this new idea of quenching things. Um, oh, hello. If I got all eight, I have. Let's make a couple more chests. So we've made just a couple. One, two, and I don't need to label these two chests. Right, one of them is going to go up here and that will feed into the hopper and this one to be straight. One thing I have been doing is getting myself sorted out. I've called this pulverizer ore because we will need powdered casserite and you have to take it from the ore not from the nuggets. These are ores that have yet to be sorted out. My nuggets are in here fuel is in here. I am starting to acquire little bits of iron that I can't do much with at the moment. This is my borax I found and this is my tiny bit of allium. I don't mean alliums. Alliums happen to be one of my favourite plants and when I used to play Minecraft they were my favourite flower in Minecraft. But I have to say I'm talking about alum, not alliums. <laughs> 
Sorry about that. Shoot selection. Section, not selection. Okay, let's uh, get this sorted. Okay, let's have a look at the other side. Right. Will that go up? I don't think it will. Okay. Wrong way. Good. Whoops. Ah. Yeah. Okay. Couple more. They were not the middle ones out, actually. Carefully. Ah. Oh no. That was my fault. I, I've got a fly in the room and it keeps landing on me. Oh gosh. Go away, go away. <laughs> I am the only living thing in this room. Now I'm going to have to go all around the circle to try to get this right. Will that one come up? This is the question. Yes. Now, carefully, if the fly comes around, ignore it. Yay, I have my first shoot. Right, I've just quenched these shoots and I should be able to make an elbow shoot like that, which should go in there. Now that should feed in. Right, let's see whether that works. Let's just pop some of this away um, and let's swap back prefer having a bit more light All right let's pop these away and go and get our these two and we'll see whether this works so if we come over here, as we have to, to put the axle down, and then we need the angled gears. Right, that's very slow. Let's just try. 
one piece of ore. See whether I got this right. All right, this is the feed. All right. Okay. Tap to that. It's not in there. It's not in there. Aha! Crushed casserite. It works. Brilliant. It's not hard, is it? <laughs> Once you have the ingredients, it's very simple. Is it my imagination? Or are chickens far more gymnastic, energetic, and do they fly more in 1.18? I am having so many chickens escape. However, I think in this episode, as you will see, I do get them corralled a little bit more as I just set them up with shelter, egg boxes, and start to get ready to breed my own chickens that will not run away from me. So let's move on to animal husbandry. I think it's time to make some egg boxes. If I remember correctly, I want three, I think, two, three. There we go. Okay, let's go and put some egg boxes down and we will need shelter of these chickens. So if I take some, I've got sandstone stone here. Let's try to get some of that and get some, yeah, 10 should be enough. And then I want some some more. I've got 44 of those, that's fine. Uh, we've got some of that. We've got the egg boxes. Excellent. Let's go and try and do a little bit more sorting out these chickens while we can. It's a nice day. So let's go and see whether we can, whether they're still alive. which they are, and they are laying eggs, but they don't have enough room to lay. Now, if I put three egg boxes down, I've got to be careful about where I put them. So let's start off by getting them some shelter. And I think we can always move it later. Let's just get these chickens up and running. All right, where's our wall? There we go. Nice. Take a bit more. Yeah, they're gonna get out if I'm not careful. Look at them. They are climbing on top of each other again. And this is horrific behavior, chickens. Horrific. Two, three. Yeah, you're going to be mostly under control, I think. The advantage of this is it's putting some taller bits in the corner. Let's come around to this corner. Go on, go in the other corner. You got out, you devil. Right, I don't know. Let's put a double layer in the corners. Because we've just seen a hen escape. Right, we want it there. That's it. I'm getting to think that nothing is too tall for these girls. Or boy, no, I am um, boy and boy. Okay. Right, so we want 
shelter. Right, that's in the wrong place. Yeah. Gosh, good job we've got a lot of this. But they also need fresh air, so you can't sort of farm them underground. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to actually put a double layer of fence around these girls. And boys, look at them. Look at them. They would be out if I hadn't done that. All right. Yeah, I think it is going to have to be quite a a tall structure this. That's it. Now let's go down, hoping that, look at them. No, I'm trying to close that right. That's no use, let's take this up. All right, let us move the egg boxes. They have to be under shelter. All right, one. Two. Oh, it's because there are eggs there. Need to collect the eggs. Lay some more. Right. We could actually have done, we could put one more in. And I think we should. Try and get lots of chickens. Now I'm putting them here so that they won't be able to climb on them and get up the walls. And then we need to make sure that they are fed and the same thing applies. We must make sure that they can't climb up the walls by standing on the feeding things. Gosh, you guys are real trouble. Right. Let's go and get some food for them. I tell you, animal husbandry in this game is constantly frustrating. Constantly. <laughs> now lay in the boxes. There's a cockerel and four chickens. Right. Hope for the best on that one. Let's go down and see our piglets and see how they're doing. I have to say, I've just watched the episode where I put the chickens in or herded them in. And I just thought to myself, oh my goodness, this is hardly sophisticated gameplay, is it? Just running around. It was very funny, like a sheepdog. We have a program in the England called One Man and His Dog, which is the sheepdog trials, basically. I wonder if I should put my video in and say would I win as a sheepdog on the evidence? Certainly not. I would come last. Oh, now this is interesting. We've got, I had a boar, sow, boar, sow. Right, now we've got different generations here. This one is generation one, generation one. Generation one, no generation. So that, this is the sow we want to kill because she has no generation. Right, let's harvest her meat. Oh my gosh, what a mess this is. Okay. That's the boar. Generation one decent. Several days before ready to mate. Low. Several days before ready to mate. Okay. 
Right, so we want to get up to as many generations as possible. And we bred three sows. We did not breed a boar. Okay, well, I'm going to head back and unload my inventory. I have been making more of the tannin. So we're going to seal up nine of the scraped hides, which is good. Uh, I am in the process of making weak tannin into strong tannin. And we've got some prepared hides in here that are soaking. So this little area is proving very, very useful for our leather making industry. Well, it's an absolutely filthy day, but I'm just checking whether my, yes, the pit kilns are done. Yeah, good. I have made two more planters because I keep finding these tempting, tempting looking mushrooms. And also I am so short of storage space in my cellar, it's just crazy. So I've made another big planter that we can put in here. Yes. I have made some more of the beautiful planters and I'm just going to pop my mushroom in. This is a puff ball. This is an indigo milk cap. And look at this. How pretty is this? One of our new fruit trees is flowering. Now, which one is that? The orange tree's flowering. How lovely. I wish the sun would come out from behind the clouds. Isn't that pretty? These, that one's alive, that one's died. And that one's died. Honestly, it's so depressing. Oh, by the way, I have put in some decent stairs up here. Oh, look, the sun's come out. Now I've finished taking photographs because the ladder was beginning to annoy the heck out of me. And I am going to have a quick look outside in the morning sunshine because I am contemplating taking my building along a bit more, continuing with our sort of horizontal look. Yeah, in that I'm thinking, and I don't think, if I let come up here, do I have a high enough view on this? Yes, I'm thinking of taking another layer out from the middle of here. We need so many barrels uh, for dye, for leather work and now for print working. I am thinking of extending the house at the back here, out to here. I have already extended the porch, by the way, to make it look better. But when you think of the number of barrels we just need for leather, you know, because you end up with, you know, just a, a few litres of this and a few litres of that. So I think it might be worth extending this bit out so we would keep this line going here. This is a bit of a mess because I'm not finished building yet, but I think that's the way to go. And if we had a long, in fact, I will show you, if we had up here, and how good is it being able to go up a proper staircase? I'm thinking of extending out here so that we have a line of barrels along here. So we would go two that way, one for the barrels, one for the wall, and then go two that way, and that would work extremely well with this build. And then we will just project the roof out to give us another wonderful horizontal. Yeah, I've taken that out for the time being. This wall is going to come out. I don't like it. It makes my bedroom too small. So this is going to be a sort of goody room, I think, where we have all our beautiful library books and things like that. And while I think about it, I have a couple of scrolls, not in there. I'm looking in the wrong chest now. Yeah, in here. 
and I have been told that we can put these in bookcases. Now that will be fantastic if we can do that. Let's have a look. I love the new bookcases. I'm sure we all do. <gasps> oh my word. Um, can I get it out? Yes, I can. Right, what we need to do then, uh, let me get something off my bar like that. Obviously, these, where we are building up our different little sections, could go in here to differentiate them. Oh, my word. Oh, look at this. Oh, goodness. It looks as if they're evolving, don't they? Uh, can that one go there? Do they go above each other? Wow. I'm not sure that graphic is perfectly realized, but I like the idea of having them there. Scroll, scroll. That's a nice way of storing them if it looked a little bit better. Well, that was a wide and varied episode but we've moved forwards. We've got the pulverizer up and running. We've got the chickens up and hopefully breeding. We've killed our first pigs and we are on to generation one. We hope we can breed more of those. And we found out that we can store scrolls in bookcases, but I'm not sure I like the look of it. In the next episode, I go searching for iron and find an amazing find. So join me in the next episode leave a like and if you haven't subscribed to me consider subscribing bye bye my friends <laughs>